The Hound Pits Pub. Hidden in an old bar on the river, your new allies have plans to share with you. Meet with the loyalists' inner circle to learn what they've got in mind. Welcome back to Dishonored, where we have gone on not a murder spree for once in our gaming lives. I mean, we have in the other playthrough, but not in this one. In this one, we are low chaos, stealthy ghosts. This is the hound pit we are pub. ghostly uh, men, just like business. we usually hunt in Phasmophobia, right. except with less murder. Right under the ah, yes. I can totally go without killing away. anyone. Samuel, just jump in the water already. I want you to see your blood. Anyway. Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. Cool. That's what I'm doing in the other playthrough. I still always think about how does he not hit that. Like, the boat should sink low enough to scrape that. Like, 100%. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, can clear your name, he can. Sweet. That's what I hope for. God, we are not going to go on a murder spree. Welcome to the hub of the air of the I almost said the area. That would be really dumb way of saying it. Welcome to the hub of the game. Here, we can upgrade our stuff, take nice fat naps, and uh upgrade our equipment by stealing everybody's stuff. At the Academy of Natural Philosophy, they speak of the Pandician continent as a place of wonder where all of life has entwined and blossomed across eons, producing a vibrant ecology unrivaled in the civilized world. The overseers from the Abbey of the Everyman, by contrast, talk of horror and heresies, of cults of sub-men engaged in brutal, perverse rituals. The few who have traveled to the far continent and come back to the Isles, those who have actually touched the soil there have returned with notes that describe vast deserts, deep jungles, and outlandish creatures that defy belief. Once in a generation, a great effort is mounted to build a colony there, in hopes of this someday growing into a port city to rival Dunwall itself. But to date, these attempts have all ended in madness and failure. <gasps> I did a lot of that in one uh, breath. Ooh, money. Sorry, Samuel, I'm going to take all your stuff. I know you, were, like, brought me here, but I'm just going to take all your shit. I mean, you do live in, like, a hovel, too. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that right now. Oh, this is a nice place. I love the architecture and just the look of the world. Just everything about it is just so, like, yes, it messes with my brain in such a wonderful manner. It's like how Victorian London was parody... It was almost, like, parodied in um, Bloodborne. This is, like, Elizabethan. Or not Elizabethan. More like... I don't know, 17th, 18th century uh, England being parodied in a different way. I love it. I love the look of it. Oh, it's so cool. It's so cool with all, like, the crazy ads and shit. Someone's cigars, all of this stuff telling you that, like, cigars will make your penis enormous and totally won't cause hideous uh, lung problems later on in life. Just horrible. I expect there hideous are hideous issues. There. Best join them. And erectile dysfunction. Whoever really killed the Empress. We can hear someone hard at work in here. But now it's time for story. Starting at last, Admiral. We found our man. Even after six months in Cold Ridge Prison, he slipped out like it was nothing. Yes. Not surprising. He was the personal bodyguard of the Empress. You've heard the stories. Yes, I have. It still amazes me that someone could get to the Empress and young Lady Emily. No one knows the real story, Trevor. We all have our suspicions. We'll know the truth in time. He's strong and quick. But I hope he understands subtlety as well. This isn't one of your fancy dress parties. The reality is that we need men killed. Have you ever killed a man? Only with my wit. But it's a fair point as always. He'll be here soon and I'm looking forward to meeting him. That's where I come in! What up, losers? The man of the hour is here. What up, you disgusting abominations? God, you are literally like Twiddle D and Twiddle Dumb. Like, way too thin, tall head, way too short, fat head. I love it. Sorry, I've been saying that out loud. I represent the nobility in our little group. Cool, I'm sure you're not a dickhead. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with it. We've been building a coalition of loyalists. Awesome. Aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny. Excellent. And restoring the throne. Perfect. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily 
and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. God, I, that skills, beer actually looks really good. Fight. And in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Although I, I quit drinking Let's almost a exhausted. year ago now, so we can discuss none this for further me, after please. you've recovered. But before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. All right. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Industrious mind. Yes. Yay, time Piero for not Tesla Edison. He's um, going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Fucking, I don't talk know. to him and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you yeah, rest. Sorry, I'm looking at your beer, man. I mean, it's just... Oh, man. It's been... Good to have you with us, Corporal. What? Nothing against the others, but there's no substitute for what? a man who's done his service for the crown. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm going over this and grabbing all this stuff that you have. I'm sure having him locked behind a bar is uh, totally kosher. What, Piero, my boy? I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. Good. All custom work. For Excellent. You, I will create the tools of a master assassin. I don't even need the murdery part. Not yet. On the other playthrough, I'm going to need plenty no, of murder. This cannot happen now. The tank of whale oil's running. Maybe if we use something not will whale you oil. The tank from upstairs, please, <sighs> while I hold this in place. Be careful. We gotta take all your stuff. No, I will not sign off on these purchases. A bag of powdered crystal, Tibian ore. What's wrong with the metals and crystal? King Sparrow feathers. If you need feathers, sacrifice your own pillow. Maybe at the academy, everything you needed was paid for by tariff and handed out willy nilly. But this is my bar, or what's left of it. And we're operating on a budget. We're running low on oil, food, elixir, building materials, and everything else. So you've got to slow down. While I'm footing the bill, I will not approve your purchases unless they're absolutely required. No more copper wire or special herbs. If you need these things, go out and scavenge them. Half the city is in ruins, so no one is going to miss any of the old crap you seem to need. Odd crap. Oh, God. Um. So, from now on, except for very certain uh, books and notes, I will not be reading them. Just go ahead and pause them if you want to run through themselves. This is like uh, Piero saying his... Remedy is way better than Sokolov's mixture. Vice. Eh. Ooh, book. Uh, Sokolov technology in the new age. Share the same magnetic socket. Fascinating. What do you know? Universal ports are fantastic. Hey, uh, Piero. Oh, I was going to rob you, but apparently not. Oh my god, there's so much lore up here. Actually, you know what? That absurd idea that the energy in whale oil arises from the need to maintain life functions at extreme ocean depths. The pressure in the cold are too much to endure without it. I speculate that a human being might, by a process of adaptation, produce high energy humors in the body. I could build a tank that would slowly increase pressure on a subject over a long period of time and then observe them for years if need be to see if the formulation of energetic substances develop. Surely the Empress would be able to furnish me with facilities, subject and the necessary legal amnesty. Yeah, legal amnesty. Ah, yes. Extreme quasi-ethical experiments. Fan frickin tastic. My favorite. Wait, am I? Damn it. Let me look at this one. Um... Ba -ba 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 -ba. I've read almost all of these. I mean, I've read through literally all of these a million, million times before because of how many times I've played the game. I have over 230 hours in just this game alone. Oh, that's probably fine. Door to nowhere with a swirl on it. I'm sure that's not the butthole Perfect. of the universe now or something. Zippet hole of the universe. Yes. I don't know what Perfect. accent that was either. Thank you, Cole. Here, see? The assassin's mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will mean terror to them. Just Excellent. Hold still. They'll never see it. Ever. Because I'm going ghost. He's and going ghost! Ba, ba, ba. I don't remember the theme from Danny Phantom. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. 
God, you are disgusting looking. Your eyes are tiny for your head. Like microscopic. Tell me what I can make for you. Excellent. Uh, yeah, let's have a look. So we got some money, honey. Let's see what we can use. Oh man, a bunch of stuff. Bone charm capacity. That wouldn't actually be that bad. Now I have all the DLC, so I am actually gonna get bone charms really, really easy. Combat sleep dart. Cool and all. I kind of want crossbow range. I kind of want mostly crossbow stuff. And then I guess purchase some sleep darts. How many sleep darts do I have? Give me a bunch. Give me just a shit ton. Uh, yeah, that should be fine for right now. You must be exhausted. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Sounds like good. Sounds like good. Good job, brain. Sleep well. Working at 100% capacity. And isn't that just sad? Oh, man. What a great night's sleep. Oh, man. It's still a little dark out. That's weird. Ooh. Feel a little loosey-goosey right now. What does this one say? The Hound Pit. Scudder versus Blackie. I don't like how he says black. Uh, the Golden Cat. Ooh, I love cats. The finest ladies in all the aisles. Oh, skilled in all the cinch. Oh, I thought it was a cat cafe, but it's just a cat cafe. Ugh. Anyway, let's get out of here. Well, <clears throat> the rapture happened and I missed it. Slept right through it. Slept right through Jesus uh, coming back. That, that really sucks. End of the universe and I didn't even... I didn't even pay attention. Just slept right on through it. <laughs> Ow. I'm sorry, Hello, Jeebus. Corvo. Jeebus? Hello, like Jeebus. A turn. You look a little it's different than I expected, but the Empress I'm here, dead. ready to the get raptured. Daughter, Emily, let's, uh, in the let's, let's get our rapture on, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. This, I have chosen you and drawn you into the void. That sounds like a weird name for heaven, but what do I know? I am the outsider. And this is my mark. Yeah, the outsider, the you know, Jesus. In the world and Jesus, the, the outsider world. Christ. Great yeah, I know, I get that. Call magic. And now, these forces will serve your will. That's cool. So Use I have holy powers power. gifted from uh, gift God himself. You. That's cool. Thanks, Jesus. Come find me. All right. Uh, <laughs> always, Jesus. You know what? I read my... I read the Bible. I know I know what you gotta do. You know, you gotta come find Jesus. That's just how it is. I know how to do... Don't worry, Jeebus. I'll use these powers of incredible might. Oh, hey, look, Jessamine, you're in heaven too. That's nice. You're looking a little, you cannot save her. Well, yeah, Jesus, only Jesus can save her. I've read the Brobel. I know what's up. Uh oh, I fucked up. I didn't fuck up. Don't worry about it. Man, heaven looks a little different than what I thought it would, but what do I know? I mean, we're basically in the clouds. Hey, I didn't know you were dead already, Emily. What is up? I mean, they say time runs a little differently. I'm very sad. They say that you're dead like mother. Well, of course I am. I'm in heaven. I don't know who you guys are, but you're very disgusting and ugly. Like every other person in this universe. Give me this. Uh, however, bros, what's up, my guy? What's up, Lord Regent, my dude? Made to heaven? Man, alright. I mean, I wasn't expecting that one, but hey, you know... Ah, uh, look at that. Look at these fine fellows. They're having a great old time. What are these guys? Angels? Kind of look like it. Early. Sorry. That was, a, that was my bad. Oh, man. I mean, look at this water going upwards. Oh, that must be from the sewers. In the days Hi, Jesus. Follow, Where do I get to meet God? Trials will be great. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. Weird name for cathedrals, but what do These I know? Runes will grant you powers beyond. I'm not gonna argue with Jesus. To help you find these runes, I give you this: the heart of a living thing. Is that mine? Molded by my hands. Ah, oh, man, molded by Jesus Himself. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes. No matter how they may be hidden. Excellent. Sounds great. Listen Sounds fine. Now. 
and find another room. Understood, big man. The J man. Can I call you J man? Can I call you Mr. J? Kind of makes me sound like Harley Quinn and the Joker, but you know, it's fine. Sure, all is well. This is the end of all things. And the beginning. I knew it. So this is heaven. I mean, it does say God is Alpha and Omega, beginning and end. I know things. All I read the Bible. Bible. Whatever. I'll probably should say whatever about the Holy Bible, but what do I know? Yeah, you know, they, you know, all the things. This is exactly what I said. Well, yeah, the rapture, you know, I, I don't know. It's kind of a weird way to say it, though, but what do I know? Hell you. Oh, no! I almost screwed it up. That's fine. Can I detect this thing? The one who walks here is all things. Yeah, Jesus. Alright, maybe a little bit of a weird way of saying it, but once again, what do I know? I have the power of Jesus in my hand. I have one of his bone sculptures. That's nice. That's that's probably fine. It's probably normal. Okay, so I can choose one of my powers. Devouring Swarm. So because we're going low chaos, um uh ghost we want probably this one or to save up for agility uh dark vision is really helpful though so i'm gonna you get it i'm gonna go ahead and get it for the high chaos run i'll probably go for um vitality you as it has to the others well you know uh fewer chosen all or call or something like that excellent oh i'm getting unraptured with great interest Thanks, Jesus. When Jesus gave me dark powers of the abyss. That's probably what he normally does. Ah, oh, man, what a weird dream. That Jesus. Oh, hey, I've got Jesus' dark mark of evil. Wait, that didn't sound right. What do I know? All right, so starting out, I've got all this DLC stuff. I'm going to pick it up because, you know, who's going to stop me? But if you're playing this normally, you won't have all this stuff. Here we go. We'll go ahead and do this. You can go ahead and read this. Pause it by yourself if you want to. There's a lot here. Like, a lot here. And I don't want to have to go through literally all of it. Rumors and sightings down. Down it is an agent of the outsider and must die. Hey, the outsider is Jesus you're talking about. Thank you very much. Crowley. Good band. Lots of bone charms and stuff. All right, here's some more. All right, excellent. So we've actually unlocked a bunch of bone charms now. Here's the thing. I don't really want to use any of these for this. They're all DLC, and I'm using the money, which is great and all, but I don't actually really want to use any of these. Some of these you can get. Some of these you can only get here. You can only get some of these in, from this DLC. Um, <clears throat> I have no... What the hell is this thing? I don't remember this one. What? Oh, my God. I can use a billion bone charms. So, I could... So I'm going to play through without using all of these bone charms, just because, you know, I don't really need to, and because I have without my playthroughs. Um, if I should go ahead and use them, I here's the thing, I might, just because I have them, I'm using the money, obviously. So, you know, I mean, what's the point in not using them, really? I don't know. 
I'll figure it out. I might end up using them. I might not. The High Chaos playthrough, I will be using literally whatever. Hey, Piero, can I... Have, what can I do for you? I look at your wares. Let me talk about upgrades and new equipment. I want the rune he's selling. I want upgrades to not really the crossbow. I want mask optics. And I want... No, that's probably it right now. And then just fill up on a couple things. How many of these do I have? There. All right. So if we take the heart now that we have it, no one else can see the damn thing. Piero might be able to. Somewhere in the basements below. Oh, I wanted. Kills Hound, and money changes hands. Cool. I want her. Every night, the black-eyed outsider visits upon Piero's dreams. So whenever we're in an area, you can talk to the heart as normal, um, and it will tell you something about the area. Or you can point it directly at someone, and she will tell you uh, something about them, uh, secrets about their character. Uh oh. Now there are hagfish in there. All right, runes. Got two runes. Want to update a power? I want probably this or bend time. The time abilities is like pure sandbox effect. It is crazy good. I want actually agility. If you are going for um, low chaos, this is one of the best abilities. So we can, if I hold down the button, I can now jump way uh, higher than before. Fall damage is reduced, which isn't nearly as important, so I can, like, I can jump all over the damn place now. It's super useful. It's a super good low-chaos power. Um, I'm gonna look around for a couple more things. That's, like, the most important thing we wanted was that extra rune. We can meet with a couple other characters if we feel like but what I want to do is a find for myself a couple items. Forbidden. Shadow on Bitterleaf. That was straight up smut there. Not quite um, a tale of with an Argonian maid, but pretty high up there. I'm going to be burning through some of these books just because, you know. And this is from the uh, trailer. What will we do with the drunken whaler? You know, that that one is fucking awesome, by the way. I fucking love that, uh, that song. Good day, Master Corvo. Good day. Lydia and I trade chores sometimes, and I'm starting to think I never come out ahead. She's a smart one. Hello, Walter. Wallace, are you whatever you are. Woman, Corvo? No one seems to know much about you. By your bearing, I'd say so. Lord Pendleton's great-grandfather took a Sokonan chambermaid to wife. On second thought, the story doesn't bear repeating. Even the finest blood can go bad here and there. Ah, okay. Could be Sokonans are evil as fuck. I see how it is. They're lesser. Is that what you're saying? Lord yeah, I'm gonna take all your shit. I don't care. In my 13th year, the despised stepmother at last departed, and Pendleton Hall was again quiet. Although father had by then sunk into deep depression, it was at this sensitive time that Waverly Boyle first entered my life. She who will be the source of many tender recollections to come. Excellent. Hey, I'm gonna open up his stuff and steal his money. Is that fine? Is that all right, Wallace? Thanks. That took a shit. What are you gonna do about it? I'll stab you right in the face. I'll carve your face out of your face and then wear it as my own face. It's been days since our men were dispatched to stash weapons for Corvo in the old sewer. They have not returned, so I can only hope that they succeeded in getting the packages delivered. Piero spent considerable time and resources making those things. If I could find a way to mass produce them, the Dunwall Navy would secure its place as the dominant force on the globe. But back to Corvo. Can he actually break out of Coldridge? And if so, Will he make his way here? I personally give him odds of one to five. Corvo seems to have arrived in good shape. Much better than I expected, given what I've seen of Coldridge Prison. He seems willing to work with us, and he shouldn't lack for motivation. The man has lost everything. We'll judge how he performs in the field. And if I can, I'll find a way to test him personally. Personally, huh? Books. Admiralty in the fleet. Everything about this guy. Um screams military all of it and he's supposed to be that way
having found my purpose. Purpose is the most important thing we can find in this world. Uh, that's back up to my room. So we come down here. Hello, Cecilia. Oh, Lydia. I had a sale God, you're disgusting. Once. He thought he'd strike gold digging in the Pandisian cliffs. They found his ship drifting empty. Wow, that was Bethesda level dialogue right there. My God, that was some like, lady. I'm I'm sorry, but like at the same time, what are you... okay, all right, sure. Well, let's get down to it. Yep. I met Jesus, by the way. I know that assassination is dark business, but sometimes good men have to do bad things to make the world. Better. I don't think that's what Jesus told me to do. Actually, I think he told me to use my dark powers of darkness to darkenize the world with darkening. To those ends, we'll hide. Darkness. And President Mick. Take them apart, piece by piece. Sounds good. Sounds totally kosher by Jesus standards. Tonight, that's a weird Campbell term. Died. That's a weird sentence to say kosher by easy. Jesus standards. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Yep. Your exploits are legendary. Hell yeah, they are. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal. Because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. She's probably That's alive. It. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Understood, Commander Papa Popa P. Another Get in there. Totally. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of. He's one of us. And if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Hound Pits. Understood. Rescue Martin the Overseer in the name of Jesus. We're on a holy crusade now, boys, from Dark Jesus. Darth Jesus. That sounds like the... Ed, that sounds like one of the dumbest things I think I've ever thought of in my entire life. And yet, I'm kind of in love with it. Darth Jesus. Can I go down here? Nope. No, I cannot. Uh, do I want anything else before I go? Uh, I don't actually know if there's anything else here, really. I'm sure there's a couple coins laying around somewhere, like right here. But I don't really care that much. I don't really need them all that much. Okay. Hello, uh... Corvo. Callista. Hello. I, I remembered, I remembered. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I work for Jesus. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. Darth Jesus. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. Gotta do something There's like There's really no murder. reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. Mm. But he's a good man. A and Jesus my only man. Family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. <gasps> and I think I know why. Oh my gosh. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Oh my gosh, the murder. is going to poison my uncle. Who would ever? Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Yeah. Uh, Before you became an assassin. Crusader. I would prefer the term crusader. It gives it a nice, zealous, um, fucking... Actually, you know what? I'm pretty sure that's worse than assassin. In certain circles. Whoop, Samuel. Ready to go. Just give a second. Oh my god, there's a fish behind him. A fish. To the distillery. This totally won't take me another hour of recording. High Overseer Campbell leads the city's militant religious faction and is a close ally to the Lord Regent. Campbell is completely corrupt and holds the secret to Emily's location. Infiltrate the house of the office, uh, infiltrate the office of the High Overseer, steal Campbell's journal, and eliminate him. An ally to the Loyalists, Martin, is being held there. Free him and allow him to escape. On it. 